Welcome to the ACT Premium Cloud video series. In this video, I'll show you how to navigate the basic areas of your new ACT Premium Cloud account. Let me just take a second to log in. At the top of your screen, you'll find the menu bar, just like you would expect in almost any desktop application. Directly below that is the global toolbar. These buttons contain the most commonly used functions in ACT. On the left, you'll see the lookup menu, where you can very easily search for a contact. Below that is the navigation pane. These links allow you to quickly skip to each different feature of ACT. Let's look at each feature of the navigation pane now. We'll start by clicking the contacts link. In the contact view at the top, you'll see the contact detail toolbar. This allows you to switch from the detail view to the list view of your contacts. When viewing a specific contact, you can use these arrow buttons to skip from one record to the next in your current lookup. Other buttons here allow you to save, print, or duplicate the contact record. The first contact you always pull up is called the My Record. This is your record. Any information you add to this record should reflect you, the user, and not one of your clients. You can always go back to your My Record by going to the Lookup menu and selecting My Record. The contact detail view is split into two sections. The top section is like a business card where you can enter specific information about the contact. The bottom area consists of tabs that allow you to enter more detailed information concerning this contact. These tabs collect information about your contacts, such as activities, opportunities, history records, notes about the contact, documents that you may have sent them, and much more. We'll look at each of these tabs in detail in the contacts video. Next, let's look at groups. Simply put, groups are made up of two or more contact records. You can organize them in any way that makes sense to you. Group records are also separated into two sections. The basic group information is at the top, and just like contacts, the bottom section contains a series of tabs. These tabs contain more detailed information about your group. Now let's look at companies. A company is a type of group where all contacts are grouped together based upon the company where they work. Both companies and groups have a list on the left side that allows you to easily navigate to any specific company or group in your database. Companies allow you to gather more information at the top in the company detail view. Again, there are tabs at the bottom which allow you to gather additional details about the company. These tabs are similar to what we've already seen in contacts and groups. Now let's look at the calendar. The calendar is organized into three views. You can view your monthly calendar, your weekly calendar either by week or work week, and of course your daily calendar. On the daily calendar, the hours of your workday have been highlighted. In the preferences area, you can change these hours as well as the days that you consider your work week. At the top of your calendar, you'll see a filter bar. Here, you can filter calendar items by type, by priority, or by the owners of calendar activities. On the right side of your screen is a mini calendar. If any of the days on this calendar are bolded, that means you have an activity scheduled on that day. As you can see, my calendar is pretty full. Let's move on to the task list. The task list shows a full listing of all activities based off your filtered ranges. You can use these filters above, which will allow you to narrow this list by dates, by activity types, priorities, by users, and even by a keyword search. Related to the task list is the history list. The history list shows all activities that have already occurred in the past. Just like the task list, there are several filters at the top that allow you to narrow the items in your view. Again, you can filter by dates, types, and users, and you can also perform a keyword search on your history list to find history records that contain specific search words. Next, let's move on to opportunities. The Opportunities List view shows you all of the opportunities for your company. Once again, there's a filter bar at the top which gives you even more ways to narrow your list according to the filters that you want. When you click the Detail View button, you'll be able to see specific details about any opportunity. 
On this screen, you can see the opportunity name, its status, and its current stage along the process pipeline. On the left, we would display totals that signify what this opportunity is worth, as well as the probability that this opportunity will close. Next, let's look at the dashboard. The dashboard allows you to get several types of information about your company at a glance. Each of these dashboard components can be filtered and edited to show only the information you want to monitor. Currently, I'm looking at my activities dashboard. I could also choose to view an opportunities dashboard, showing me all the opportunities at my company. This concludes the first portion of the ACT Premium Cloud video series. In the next video, we'll cover contacts and how to properly store information in a contact record.